good morning students welcome to my youtube channel so today we are going to discuss about uh, dna so the dna the d n a okay so in previous videos we discussed about the nucleic acids as you know there are two types of nucleic acids one is dna another one is rna that is deoxyribose nucleic acid this is what we call deoxy ribo nucleic acid deoxy ribo nucleic acid as one of the important genetic material so which is present in almost all living things except few viruses okay so in that few viruses there may be a rna is the genetic material okay now so dna is the one of the nucleic acid even chemical composition of nucleic acids in common we discussed in previous video okay so let us we see the chemical composition the chemical composition see chemical composition of of dna let us we see this one chemical composition of dna okay so it is also nucleic acid means there are three important components should be present that is first one first one phosphate phosphate and the second one yes pentose sugar pentose sugar and third component is yes nitrogen bases nitrogen bases okay so phosphate as you know this is the phosphate this is this. i'll show it by p pentose sugar that is yes you can take yes and nitrogen bases i'll take it as yes okay nitrogen bases so these are the three components which we observed in any nucleic acid the same way in the dna phosphate is present pentose sugar is there and nitrogen bases are present so see pentose sugar which pentose sugar is here that is yes pentose sugar is nothing but it's a deoxy ribose is present deoxy ribose deoxy ribose is a pentose sugar so which has five carbon atoms as you know so that is present in dna okay so in rna that was only ribose here deoxy ribose so even you know the difference okay so next one the nitrogen base nitrogen bases see the nitrogen bases are the same way there are two kinds are there two types are there that is purines and another one is yes pyrimidines pyrimidines purines as you know double ringed structures so there are again two are there okay so purines guanine guanine adenine and guanine you can write adenine adenine and guanine so adenine is indicated by a a and it is by g okay see these are the two purines double ringed structures as you know so adenine and guanine are the two purines which are present in yes dna next the here here also there are two pyrimidines any either you can take dna or rna there should be a four nitrogen bases so here also four nitrogen bases are there okay totally five nitrogen bases in common we will learn we have learn 
uh, we have learnt that in uh, previous uh, video ok. So, pyrimidines are two here. So, which is the molecule here DNA in a DNA there is a presence of thymine and cytosine what do you call thymine that is indicated by T thymine and cytosine ok. So, that is C. So, this is what the chemical composition of DNA chemical composition chemical composition chemical content of the DNA ok. So, this uh, chart you should note it in your notebook ok. So, uh, phosphate is present ok phosphoric acid we can say phosphoric acid hmm? H 3 PO 4 phosphoric phosphoric acid we can say that is H 3 PO 4. So, this is the formula you can say ok deoxyribose as you know. So, that is the uh, uh, pentose sugar ok 5 carbon atom ring structure pentagonal structure which we observed ok in previous video and nitrogen bases are of here purines and pyrimidines ok. So, purines are of 2 guanine that is represented by G adenine represented by A and same way pyrimidines these are single ring structures here thymine and cytosine. So, in case of uh, uh, RNA instead of thymine there is a presence of uh, uracil ok we will see it later ok. So, now uh, understood know this one the chemical composition of DNA ok. Next, so let us we discuss the nucleotides and nucleosides in previous video we discussed the types. So, uh, see the structures we discussed depends on these depends on these that is guanine, adenine, thymine, cytosine depends on nitrogen bases types of nucleosides and types of nucleotides are formed ok. So, these different types four types of nucleotides bonded by phosphodiester bonds and that means the molecules are binding and to form a chain. So, that is what we call polynucleotide chain ok. So, that is the molecule of DNA you can say polynucleotide chain which is considered as a DNA ok. So, let us we see the that uh, uh, different uh, types of nucleotides how they are formed let us we see the chart ok. Types of nucleosides while observing the video please take pen and a notebook and point the uh, write the important points which are which I am going to write on the board ok. So, types of nucleoside nucleoside nucleotides types of nucleosides nucleosides nucleotides based on based on nitrogen bases nitrogen bases ok. So, now there are as we know four types of nitrogen bases here in this side here you can write nitrogen bases and in this here you can write the nucleo nucleosides. So, you can write the yes nucleoside nucleosides and next you can write nucleotide nucleotides ok. So, now, 
So, I will take more place for the nucleosides here. Next, nucleotides, okay, nucleotides. So, already you know nitrogen bases, see. you can write. So, you can take this much. So, later on we will do it. Okay. See nitrogen bases are of different types. Nucleosides means here what? That is yes pentose sugar plus nitrogen base okay. and nucleotides means what? pentose sugar plus base nitrogen base sorry nitrogen base you can write nitrogen base and phosphate ok. So, this is what the constituent ok. So, now you should see this go through this chart when you observe first nitrogen you can take adenine ok. So, you can write it clearly adenine adenine that means A ok. So, the nucleoside adenine plus what is the content nucleoside adenine plus 1 uh, one nitrogen base adenine is there adenine plus which one sugar ok pentose sugar deoxyribose 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 plus adenine what it forms. So, there is a formation of yes deoxyadenosine what you call deoxy adenosine that is deoxy adenosine deoxy adenosine is a nucleoside this is the nucleoside when the deoxyribose pentose sugar is combined with this adenine molecule adenine molecule so there is a formation of deoxy adenosine so uh, it is termed as a single word you can write deoxy adenosine ok. So, this is the deoxy adenosine and this deoxy adenosine is combined with phosphate. So, I will write here one of the nucleoside deoxy deoxy adenosine and combined with the phosphate ok that is phosphate. So, what it forms? deoxyadenosine monophosphate we call it as deoxy that forms the deoxyadenosine monophosphate monophosphate deoxyadenosine monophosphate is formed there ok. So, even you also call it as the deoxy adenolytic acid deoxy adenolytic deoxy adenolytic acid. So, other terms I will not write on the board deoxy adenolytic acid ok because acidic nature is there. So, we also refer it as instead of this name deoxyadenosine monophosphate we called because here single phosphate is added ok. So, that is called deoxyadenosine monophosphate understood. So, combination of three things phosphate, sugar and nitrogen base. So, here deoxyadenosine means that is the already addition of sugar and nitrogen ok deoxyadenosine I have taken here ok. So, next when we combine uh, this with this is what the biosynthesis that process is called biosynthesis when biosynthesis of DNA this molecule is formed first ok. So, uh, later on different uh, uh, 
any any molecule means it is a basic molecule is formed later on it will be combined the uh, polynucleotide chain will be formed. Let us we see the next one. Yes, next one we can take adenine, next one guanine, guanine ok, G it is referred as G ok. So, now <coughs> guanine here deoxyribose is same you can write deoxy ribose plus that is guanine. So, what it forms here deoxy guanosine deoxy guanosine what you call deoxy guanosine deoxy guanosine is formed ok. So, this deoxy guanosine when combined with the phosphate. So, there is a formation of yes deoxy guanosine monophosphate deoxy guanosine. So, even this you can write here deoxy guanosine plus phosphate plus phosphate. So, what it forms here next that is deoxy guanosine guanosine monophosphate monophosphate deoxy guanosine monophosphate. So, that is called deoxy guanosine deoxy guanosine monophosphate ok. So, even we also call it as uh, deoxy gonolic acid deoxy gonolic deoxy gonosine we call no deoxy gonolic acid ok. So, next one next uh, so this is the uh, first adenine purines we have taken next uh, pyrimidines that is you can take thymine yes thymine you can take thymine indicated by T ok. So, here thymine the same thing that is deoxyribose here deoxy ribose plus thymine thymine. So, what it forms deoxy the same way here deoxy guanosine here deoxy thymidine will not call it as thymosine. So, like thymidine ok we call it as a here deoxy thymidine deoxy thymidine ok. So, next the same way here deoxy thymidine deoxy thymidine plus phosphate this nucleoside this is a nucleoside when combined with the phosphate there is a formation of the nucleotide that is what it forms here deoxy thymidine monophosphate deoxy thymidine monophosphate deoxy thymidine monophosphate is formed ok. Next the last uh, purine that is thymidine thymidine adenine guanine thymine and one more is cytosine fourth one cytosine that is represented by C. C uh, cytosine deoxyribose is same 
deoxy ribose plus cytosine cytosine so which forms uh, sorry cytosine so this forms deoxy cytidine deoxy deoxy cytidine what you call deoxy cytidine so when it combines with the phosphate single molecule of phosphate the this nucleoside is combines with the, a phosphate molecule so that let us see write the same deoxy cytidine deoxy cytidine plus phosphate deoxy cytidine plus phosphate which forms the yes that is that is yes deoxy cytidine monophosphate deoxy cytidine monophosphate deoxy cytidine monophosphate okay see this is the chart which shows the represents the four types of nucleotides understood okay so you can note this chart very important it is so this is the if you remember this all four types of nucleosides and nucleotides then we can understand the dna very easily okay see as you know in any nitrogen uh, sorry any uh, nucleic acid either dna or rna there should be a four types of nucleotides four types of nucleotides which are based on the nitrogen bases okay there are five types of nitrogen bases five type five types means adenine guanine thymine cytosine another one is uracil but here we are discussing about the dna nitrogen bases which are present in the dna so that is uracil usually uh, not there in this uh, dna that is present in the rna instead of uh, thymine okay so now see the nucleosides how many are formed here four four nucleosides that is deoxy adenosine and deoxy guanosine deoxy thymidine deoxy cytidine so these are the four nucleotides four nucleo nucleosides sorry nucleosides okay so next the same way four nucleotides are also formed four types of nucleotides are formed that is deoxy adenosine uh, monophosphate deoxy adenosine monophosphate next one deoxy guanosine monophosphate deoxy thymidine monophosphate deoxy thymidine monophosphate deoxy cytidine monophosphate these are the four types of uh, uh, yes nucleotides this four types of nucleotides what we called all these four types of nucleotides forms the poly polynucleotide chain polynucleotide chain okay so this is what you remember deoxy adenosine monophosphate deoxy guanosine monophosphate deoxy thymidine monophosphate and deoxy cytidine monophosphate these four types so they are in different proportions they combine to form a polynucleotide chain okay let us we see that the polynucleotide chain polynucleotide chain the 
polynucleotide chain is nothing but it's the say polynucleotide chain so it's a unit of three things here that is so as i explained this is formed this is formed by all these four different types of uh, nucleotides when combined by phosphodiester bond okay so four types of nucleotides linked linked by phospho diester bond phospho diester bond and and form a chain that is called as yes, polynucleotide chain understood so here all phospho diester bond is important phospho diester bond is formed between two nucleotides understood when two nucleotides for example deoxy adenosine monophosphate is linked with deoxy guanosine monophosphate okay which forms a chain understood so how exactly see uh, when you see the diagram pentose can draw the pentose sugar this is the pentose sugar and here it will be a, a nitrogen uh, you can take yes this is the nitrogen base understood and here i will write the phosphate phosphate okay so next one more phosphate is linked here phosphate the same way another pentose sugar you can draw another pentose sugar understood okay so this is the sugar and here in the same way again one more nitrogen base nitrogen base and next more phosphorus okay this is the another yes nitrogen base okay so next one more phosphate okay in this way so there is a linkage is formed understood so these are the here what i have drawn this is one one s yes, nucleotide so this is the this is one nucleotide another nucleotide another nucleotide depends on which nu nitrogen base is there then we call it as a if it is this is the s yes, if it is the adenine if it is the adenine what we call it is deoxy adenosine monophosphate this is called deoxy adenosine adenosine monophosphate if it is the s yes, uh, thymine so here it is thymine for example it may be a thymine if it is thymine this one what we call this one is called deoxy thymidine monophosphate next in the same way there are four types they are repeatedly joined by which linkage phospho diester linkage phospho diester link that is called bond or we can write it as bond link linkage or bond understood phospho diester bond is formed between two nucleotides understood so here you can write the here or here so these are the phospho diester bonds are makes it a long chain so then phospho diester bond uh, makes it a polynucleotide chain understood so this is about the polynucleotide chain okay so usually polynucleotide chain uh, was uh, having the, the the some history regarding this one so there are x ray diffraction methods were used x ray diffraction method okay so that is all we will discuss in the next video okay so uh, please write the points in your notebook okay and subscribe 
my channel okay thank you one and all